Welcome to our hub identification class. In this class, we have been identifying the common remedial agencies that we have in nature. God is a merciful God and he has supplied everything that we need in order to survive in this sinful world. And we must know that uh, the world that is uh, manifested and infested with the disease is supposed to be reached by the gospel, that is the life of Jesus Christ. And Christ promises in the book of Matthew chapter 18, verses 16 and 17, that he, uh, he carries all our infirmities and sicknesses. And so in case of disease, the only person we can run unto is Jesus Christ. We must know that disease is a sin problem. And each and every day, we must bring our hearts to the ironing of the saving grace of Jesus Christ. He is the one who knows the human frame. And in Psalms chapter 1, 139 verses 14 and verses 15 says that he knows our substance and he had created us and created us fearfully and wonderfully. The only thing we can uh, render unto the Lord is giving him, giving him glory in whatever things we eat or we drink and then he shall be able to save us and save us utterly. This disease problem is out or as a result of the violation of the laws of health. Disease is the effort of nature to free the system from the violation, from the effect that result from the violation of the laws of health. And what are these laws of health? It's proper diet, eating the food that was there in the beginning. Every true, genuine humble doctor can say that a disease can be recovered easily or reversed easily when people survive on organically grown fruits and vegetables and uh, food stuff like flesh and animal products have caused the world a lot of diseases that are proving difficult to treat. And the only safety is to run to the proper diet and having the principles of health put in place. We must exercise regularly. We must drink water in plenty, soft and clean water. And we have also to make sure that we be in the sun because the sun helps in about 3,000 uh, 3, gene uh, progression processes and also we must understand that temperance or self-control needs to be exercised. We must be moderate in all things, in what we watch, in what we see, uh, in what we hear, in what we dress, all this actually bring up a good health. We cannot be in good health if we don't maintain the sanity of the mind according uh, to the word of God. We must always put the word of God as the guideline and the manual of our lives. And then we must also understand that God has put, has given us the daytime and the night time. So the night time is a time of rest. Seven to nine hours of sleep is very important for many people. And then we must understand that fresh air was given for us to make sure that our system gets energized and oxygenated through the fresh air. So when we are doing exercise, it is proper to do it in fresh air in the morning. Indoor exercise, in like in the gymnasiums, is not good because you don't get the fresh air that is needed. In fact, it is just a body building, but not the, uh, the system building uh, method of exercising. 
the God's way of exercising in fresh air was walking, brisk walking, gardening, or perhaps you can be swimming. Those are the best exercises that can help your body. But walking is the best of all that is recommended. And then we must trust in divine power. We must know that God has created us. Know you not that the Lord your God is your shepherd and he has created you and we are the sheep of his pasture. That is Psalms chapter 100 and verses 3. And so, whatsoever things you do, whether whatsoever you drink or eat, do all to the glory of God. Well, so let's go to our class today where we are going to identify the herbs that God has given us in nature. And today we are tackling, or uh, we are trying to explore Coleus amboinicus, that is Indian borage. It is an hepatoprotectant. It protects the liver. That is the main, uh, 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 main uh, help or e efficiency that it gives to the body. Now, this is how it looks like. It is a common herb we find everywhere. And um, it's helped with respiratory issues. If you're suffering from a cold, a sore throat, congestion, a stuffy nose, or painful sinuses, you can chew on the leaves of Indian borage or brew a tea from the leaves. The compounds contained in the herb act as a powerful expectorant to eliminate mucus and phlegm from your respiratory tracts and clear out your sinuses. This can also help to boost your immune system by preventing bacteria or other pathogens from lodging and developing in your tracts. So the respiratory system always have a distress when, it, when the higher waves or passages are inflamed or are blocked by the mucus. Um, God had created the system that, uh, and, and put in the mucus lining and the filia in the nostrils to filter any, uh, any dust that goes into the respiratory system. But sometimes we overweigh this system by the food that we eat. If we eat a lot of wheat, whether brown or the white uh, brands, uh, excessively, the, bo the mucus buildup will be so high in the system that it blocks the high waves, uh, the, the hair waves. And another thing is when we drink a lot of milk and eat a lot of meat and deep fried foods, our respiratory system will be having mucus buildup. The highest population of the world today is suffering from the mucus buildup in the system. So we have to take the respiratory herbs or foods that help to clear out those mucus. If someone is having a, 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 a system, a respiratory system that is full of, um, of uh, mucus, we can use turpentine essential oil or we can use the peppermint essential oil and alongside lobelia tincture and, uh, and vervain tincture. You take that in and you will be able to relieve yourself of the mucus buildup in your system. Now, skin health. One of the most popular uses of Indian borage is as an effective skin treatment. From bug bites and stings to eczema and psoriasis, Indian borage possesses the anti-inflammatory compounds that can quickly reduce redness and swelling while also eliminating itchiness and irritation. Uh, this plant has, has a very a stringent, a very strong stringent effect, a stringent effect to the skin. It tightens the skin cells. And it also helps to clear the uh, the eczema and the psoriasis in, in your system. How do you, how will you apply this? You either make an infusion oil with an oil or you make a salve out of it. An infusion is where you use the plant part, the leaves, uh, which is mostly used in the oil, put in the sun, 
uh, and then let it stay there for about the 12 hours, and then remove it in the, in the evening for six days. And then that oil you can apply on your, on your skin. If you have itchy, itchy skin, you can make a salve where you use the bee wax, one part of the bee wax, and a half a part of the, any oil, more so olive oil, and then applying a half a part of butter. It can be shea butter or coconut butter, and then melt all of them together under very low heat. And then you put your, uh, your hub components. Let it tip there. Let it simmer slowly for about five minutes and then cool it down, sieve it out. Um, or if you use powder, there's no need of sieving it out. Just if the powder, just let it settle when it has compacted, then you can store it in a glass bottle and then use it for your skin. It has omega-6 content, that is the leaves. If you do those, if you choose, if you do choose to extract the essential oil from the leaves of Indian borage, the volatile compounds in that extract include omega-6 fatty acids such as gamma linoleic acid. This specific fatty acid has been linked to reducing arthritis by increasing joint re regeneration. This can also be important for athletes or those with osteoporosis who have regular impact stress on their joints and bones. So omega-6 is very important for our system. And we know that uh, when, you do, when this, uh, when this uh, omega-6 is high, over, over balance the, the omega-3, then you will be having inflammatory problems. Uh, our bodies need to have higher levels of omega-3, which we get from, uh, from, the, from the chia seeds and the flax seeds and soy milk. And uh, also uh, we get some from the simsim uh, sim -sim seeds. These are needed to make strong bones and also to make sure that the calcium content is retained in your bones and your tissues. The vitamin C and A, the high content of ascorbic acid found in the herb makes it important as an immune system booster, while the carotenoids and vitamin A content can improve vision health, reducing oxidative stress in the eyes and prevent macular degeneration. And then it is also used for, in, for cancer prevention. Indian borage has recently come back into the news because of research showing its positive effects on treating breast cancer. Although the studies are still in progress, early reports show that the antioxidant capacity of this herb, as well as the omega-6 gamma linoleic acid, are effective in slowing the spread of breast cancer. The herb's effect on prostatitis, one of the early indications of prostate cancer, is also being studied. Now, I want to, I have had an experience with this herb, the borage. It is, it is a, it really boosts the circulation of blood within a minute. It's very strong, and uh, uh, it has a, uh, a burning sensation on the skin. Though it will not remove the skin, it is a protolytic herb. It means even if you apply it on a tumor, it is able to pull it to itself. And uh, its components allow us to, allows it to, goes in, to go into the system uh, uh, if you compare it with the DMSO, the DMSO is faster, but it has uh, the, that kind of, that, that nature of filtering itself into the tissues very, very fast. And it's a very quick pain reliever. And it can also help with scavenging the free radicals uh, in your system. Uh, it helps in reducing stress and anxiety. Although this is one of the lesser known benefits of Indian borage, some of the organic compounds and mineral found in this herb have been shown to be mildly sedative in nature. So this herbal remedy, particularly in tea form, is often offered to people with high anxiety or chronic stress to induce like, relaxation, peace of mind, and health, healthy, restful sleep. So when you take it in, when you make a, a leaf, decoction uh, or a leaf uh, infusion, uh, 
and you take it in, you will, it will sedate you. It will make you to go to a sleeping mode. And uh, I believe if you make it with other strong herbs like albizia, like um, rosemary and, uh, and, um, and ash ashwagandha, you are able to make an, a good anesthetic, a sedative that is very good for pain relief. And also in the pain relief, uh, another herb that is good for that is, is a comfrey. Kidney health. Indian borage acts as a very effective diuretic, which means that it can clean the body of, tox uh, of toxin by stimulating urination. This also reduces the amount of excess salt, fat, and water in the body, keeping the kidneys and lymphatic system functioning smoothly. It helps to reduce fever. And uh, if you are suffering from a cold or flu, one of the common symptoms is a, is a fever. Typically, you don't start getting better until your fever breaks as a sign that your immune system is making some headway. Indian borage is a sudorific, meaning that it stimulates sweating, which also helps to clear out toxins through the skin and speed the recovery process. Now, for little children, uh, uh, whichever the age after birth, uh, if you are using uh, Indian borage, the best way is to use it as an enema. In uh, five meals, put uh, 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 draw five meals through a syringe and insert it through the rectum and let the child retain for some time. Very effective for fever, for colic, and any intestinal trouble for a child. Uh, another herb that is good for that, for fever, is uh, catnip. If you have catnip, you put it, uh, you use it as an enema. Uh, it calms the system. And for small children, it works perfectly. Another one you can use is uh, plantain as an insertion through the, uh, through the, uh, the anal tract. And fever grass or lemongrass, very good for, for, for fever, for breaking out the fever. And you know that fever is a process of the body to regulate toxins, remove the toxins in your system. Uh, irritable bowel syndrome. This is an autoimmune disease. Some people have it because of gluten intolerance. In traditional use, Indian borage was commonly used to settle upset stomachs and relieve irritable bowel syndrome by regulating digestion and soothing stomach inflammation. Brewing tea from the leaves of Indian borage is the most effective way to treat advantage of this health benefit. I had an experience with it when we were young. We used to use this herb most of the times. Uh, if someone is having a consistent or persistent uh, hemorrhage in any part of the body, you will apply the leaves, you crush it fresh and apply it on a, on, on, on a place that is uh, bleeding and it will stop the bleed with, uh, within minutes. So I believe that you are blessed and, uh, and uh, we must know that to rebuild and regenerate the body the health laws are very essential and very important for us to follow. There is nothing that is impossible with God in this end time. Everything is possible with God. It only requires a people who have faith and diligence in seeking God. And those who know the cause of their disease. Disease is a blessing. And if we work with the body to restore it into its right principle, God bless.